What's going on guys? In today's video I'm going to show you how to make spacers super fast and easy. Now these are basic 6x9 and 6.5 inch spacers. This will apply for any speaker size. Some speakers will have a little bit of a weird design on the outside that you will have to figure out if you have the speakers on hand. But this will get you to the basic point. So I'm in Fusion 360. This is a free program. You can use Onshape, Tinkercad, or Fusion for this. So let's go ahead and get started. So the driver that I selected for this one is the T1650 Rockford Fosgate. Great driver. Let's go ahead and make a spacer really quick. So we're going to go to the manual. And you can usually find a manual anywhere on a manufacturer's website that most of the time will give you a pretty good uh, drawing of it. Some companies don't have them though. So here is the T1650 speaker and it tells us the dimensions we need. We need this inner lip and we need the outer lip. So inner lip is 140 and the outer is 165. Very basic design, it's just a circle. So let's go ahead and open up Fusion. Now remember anytime you 3D print there is a tolerance that you're gonna have to test print and correct. So, first thing we're going to do is hit sketch. We're going to pick our plane. We're going to come over here to the circle diameter, <clears throat> well, center circle diameter, and we're going to do 165 millimeters. Then we're going to click on solid, extrude, and I'm going to do 10 millimeters tall. You would do it for whatever thickness you want. Now if you want inches, come over here to document settings, units, and change it to inches. So there is our circle. And we're done. Nah, I'm just kidding. Now we're gonna come over. There's two ways to do the to blah. there's two ways to do this. One is the hole, and the other one would be to create another circle, the correct size, and delete it from it. But let's go ahead and just do the hole method. So, for this one, it needs to be 140 millimeters. So, back here, click on the hole, find the center point, click on it. We're going to choose 140, and we're going to choose 10 millimeters because I don't want the little uh, counter bore on there. So, I clicked on there, and now we have a nice spacer. That's all there is to it. You could add the holes if you know what the size is. Uh, this one happens to be 110 millimeters across, so you find uh, the points at 110, 110, 110. Uh, not all of them are going to be that way, though. So what I recommend, print this solid, mark with the speaker after you test print, and then drill them out. That way you can use nuts and bolts. Um, or once you drill it out, you can use screws. So that is the six by, I mean the six and a half. Let's do a six by nine really quick. So I'm gonna open a new area. We're gonna find out our speaker. So uh, this will work for six by eight, six by nine, whatever it may be. All right, so here we have it. Um, we'll do this T1692. And the dimensions we need are nine, uh, 238 millimeters. This one has tabs. You won't have these tabs. You'll have to add those once you get the speaker and you see what it actually looks like. So we're doing 238 by 168. So let's go ahead and open Fusion. We'll go to Sketch. We'll make that plane. Then we're going to do the drop down. And we're going to do Eclipse. But let me just make sure I got these numbers in my head. So we're doing 238. And we're doing 168. And those numbers are very important to have correct. So back to Fusion we go. We're doing the Eclipse tool. So I'm just going to start at a point, And I'm going to do 238 click zero degrees and we're gonna do 168 hit enter solid and it's strewed to 10 millimeters so now we have the basic shape that we need 
and then we're going to come back over here and we're going to have to find the inner size that we need. <clears throat> Looks like this one's going to be 216 right here. If we come down just a, up a little bit, it'll be 146.5. 146.5. So we're going to go back to Fusion. We're going to come back to Sketch. We're going to sketch on this main area. We're going to go to Eclipse. And we need to find the center point. And then we're going to do 216. By 146.5. We're going to go to solid. And we're going to go to negative 10. And there we have it. That is a 6x9 spacer. And then once you have the dimensions for the little tabs and the area, you can go ahead and put those on there. This speaker also will tell you 167.7 millimeters center to center for the speaker holes. And then center to center up and down will be 121.5. So you could add the speaker holes, but what I recommend for you know the hobbyist, put your speaker on there, test fit it, Fine tweak and tune it, add your, add your little rabbit ears or whatever you want to call them, and then drill the holes out by hand. That way you can put nuts and bolts in there to secure it. Thanks for watching, guys. If you have any questions, comment below.